Hey team, welcome back. Now this video is a look at ELF healers, or introverted feeling, abbreviated as FI. What is an ELF healer? Help me out. Um, ELF healers, technically, it's introverted feeling. The dominant function would make you an ELF healer. It's a cognitive function that makes an evaluation about value and emotions based on subjective experiences. So part of your mental wiring, it's how you make decisions. And how you make those decisions is looking at value and emotion, but through the lens of your subjective experiences, your own experiences in your past. So do you often ask, how do I feel about this? Do you prefer to favor each individual over the entire group? Introverted feeling. Some stereotypes are, they are moody. They're overly private. That's the opposite side of that. And they are stubborn. Um, narcissistic as well. I've been called all of those. So. Technically, um, it's a subjective, emotional, experienced, focused, cognitive function. So subjective, it's through your own personal experiences and you're looking at emotions. So it consults inner values, how you feel about certain things. And you kind of overlay that onto the situation to make a decision. Uh, authenticity is uh, a very important thing for introverted feeling users and it's individuating so you're looking at how each individual thing person feels about the situation and those emotions and values that that one person has uh, elf healers elves they have improved sight and hearing, long lifespans, and they use reverie. So improved sight and hearing means that they're looking from afar at things, trying to understand it before it comes to a point that they have to interact with it. They're introspective. And they have a long lifespan. Um, dwarves are at about 250 years, right? Elves, immortal unless they're stabbed or they move on after a thousand years. So they have a lot of time to focus and learn about specific interests that they have, going deep depth. And they use reverie to relive past experiences, kind of like sleep and daydream combined. So they just re-experience over and over their you know, their past, and then they have this impression, this archetype of how things should be. For elf healers, it's focused on the emotional side of all that. And they decide what what is good and bad in their minds, and then they make decisions. Healers are support characters, so they are trying to make sure there is harmony different than dwarf healers because elf healers want each individual to feel good instead of the whole group so it starts with themselves right so if if i feel good that this is a correct decision then i can help other people it's kind of like uh the gas mask on an airplane right like help yourself so you can help other people they use magic as um, their resource, so they're decision makers. And it's turned inward and focused on feeling and emotions. And they use spirit, making sure people feel good about the situation. They don't like conflict, things like that. Okay, I made a pre-made character to help you get an understanding of what an elf healer would be like if you are not an elf healer or do not know any elf healers. Um, as we just talked about, we have 
the name, I'll try my pronunciation, Findian Elerne, and um, he's an elf healer, caster, uses healing spells, and stat allocation of spirit, just what we talked about. Uh, more pronunciation. Findian Elerne is from an extremely wealthy merchant family. His parents taught him that every object has a unique value, and it's important to determine that value for himself, not base it on how others value it. He began wondering if he could extend that idea to empower individuals to discover their own worth. As he grew older, Findian's interests strayed from becoming a merchant himself. He soon found his calling within the Circle of the Moon, a group of healers devoted to restoring life to people and nature. Within this group, he made friends with Vasende Toralarin, a mentor and experienced healer. Vasende helped Findian discover his uncanny gift to see a reflection of himself in the core or the soul of others. This lets him feel their pain and sense the essence of good and evil. After his training, Findian set off on an adventure to find a jewel called the Wilwarin that acts as a moral compass of sorts. When he finds it, he hopes to help himself and others reach their full potential through inner harmony. I don't know why I made these names. Uh, some abilities. Inner fire. Boost resources and highest stat of target. Drive target to seek internal understanding, direction, and authenticity in actions. Attune. All healing and damage is shared between you and your target. Invest your emotions in your target. Conviction. Reduce chance to be knocked down. Structure and order personal values and emotions, resisting social conventions. Detect good and evil. Detect both good and evil, resist evil. Use your strong sense of right and wrong to resist emotional manipulation or trust a player. Uh, right now, the, the idea of good and evil is subjective okay so like I'm not saying that healers cannot be bad people because that can happen it's their own ideas of what is right and wrong death watch heal the lowest health party member help the disenfranchised those in need and the underdogs insight heal target more based on how much damage you have taken Relive past struggles and suffering in order to help them more through empathy. Keys to the Elf Healer. Deep connections to moral convictions. Controls own emotional expression. Internal values are the most important. Inner harmony. And self-actualization. All important to the Elf Healer. Your quest. Have you met an elf healer? Are you one? Well, you've met me, so I am one. Um, here's a quote from George R. R. Martin. My own heroes are the dreamers, those who tried to make the world a better place. Some failed, but it is the effort that's heroic, as I see it. In the United States, it's 13.2% of the population that are introverted healers or elf healers, according to the myersbriggs.org website. So this was a look at elf healers and introverted feeling or FI as it is abbreviated. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something and good luck. Have fun.